Hello guys, my name is Tiago and welcome for a tutorial about matte painting in architectural visualization. Okay, today we are going to study this image as you can see. Uh, so let me show you in full screen. Uh, yeah, so here it is. Uh, this one it was a building that I've uh, designed by myself. Uh, so nothing special, as you can see, it's a, a very easy to model building. It took me about 15 minutes uh, to model on 3ds Max. Uh, and then uh, I've made the render with V-Ray. Uh, and basically I've painted and uh, manipulated the image all in Photoshop. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the original uh, original image was this one. As you can see, I've worked only on the basic materials um, like the the road, okay, the sidewalk. I've put some cars. Basic modeling, as you can see, uh, I've put this one, this building right here, uh, just because of the. Um, of the environment so I can have a, a better perspective of uh, how to put the things on the environment okay to create a, like a, a cityscape so let me let me uh, show you since the beginning how it works so let me uncheck all the layers I'm sorry for being so slowly but uh, this will be a tutorial maybe the calm and well explained I guess so the first layer I have the my, my most concern was to turn some of the stuff with more contrast like these chairs as you can see the difference there here okay basically uh, what I do is to put the layers some of the layers of the image in uh, art light sorry for this being in Portuguese but I'm Portuguese so but I will translate to you um, I've put some things in art light as you can see this one subtract so you you have to find the the best way to put to put your your 3d uh, with some more contrast than the the output okay but not too much because you you have to to remember that in the end of the image after we do the the matte painting we have to do or oh, we have to, to give it to the image uh, some filters or some effects okay so don't take it too much because in the end uh, we will adjust everything uh, for the perfect result so as you can see another layer in the grass up in the, the building this line here okay this one is normal. I've gave it uh, some levels uh, and some UN saturation for it to to be more natural. Okay. This one I've made some people here and gave it a photo filter, a cold yellow, uh, cold photo filter. It uh, becomes yellow and. Uh, it seems real as you can see his tones are too no neutral uh, so I gave it the photo filter so I can turn him a little bit more yellow and uh, adapted to the the scene okay this one is a sky without color okay here another layer as I told it you before uh, in indirect light 
so it's really really much better than the original the contrast more realistic okay this uh, is the V-Ray Raw reflection for the reflections okay here these are an interesting step for your image the road the road as you can see uh, basically I have done a simple work here uh, I've had the luck to find uh, an image that uh, works here um, let me deactivate the, the mask so as you can see it's a, uh, a real simple photo from Google I've searched on Google images uh, you have to find the images to put on your perspective so you have to focus on find images that uh, match your perspective okay and then you you put it here and uh, you have to adjust a little adjustment but uh, nothing difficult as you can see uh, I've put it in direct light so we can blend with uh, the original 3d road um, put a mask and there it is so more sky the sky you can compose it with a uh, more than one layer if you want clouds or I don't know some fog or anything you can can do it like that blend some some layers and uh, it will be all right okay um, here as you can see this layer the layer 6 is uh, concrete that I found a simple texture on Google too and I've made some um, some stamp to to create a realistic texture for the concrete okay to give it a better result so the cityscape this one is interesting too so basically for the cityscape the same logic so go to Google search for cityscapes uh, paint a mask so as you can see if I exclude the mask there was a mask here um, and basically I have uh, painted the mask and put it uh, behind the building that was made in 3D okay and gave it a brightness contrast so I can bring more contrast and more realism to the cityscape too okay this one is the statue inside the building as you can see I gave it the photo filter too the photo filter as you can see it's a, a warm filter 85 orange color it's basic this one are these lights in the end of the, the scene okay more cityscape this one is the license plates on the cars more buildings for the cityscape this one is the reflection of the building okay this one this one is interesting too so basically uh, if you want to give uh, more detail on the building like this you have to find some way of getting some information inside okay and in this case I found an image uh, from a, a building at uh, night with the lights uh, turned on uh, turned uh, the blending mode to division okay and I gave it a mask so as you can see it gives so much more information here okay because of the blades you don't have too much information of the inside of the building so I think it's the the better way to do it um, okay this one it's the oh sorry I'm sorry 
Um, this one here is the canalization, uh, so the doesn't matter. It's a simple detail. So this one, the seventeen, is this. If you see here, it's a small bush. Okay. I don't know. Some of the layers are so small on the image. This one is the photographer inside the building photographing I made the same logic for him okay with the photo filter this one is another person behind the red car okay this one is the sidewalk here as you can see more dark because it was too too bright for my taste so and you will know why at the end of the image when I give the the effects you want you will understand why I've put it more dark okay this one is a plane over the buildings here it's a nice detail always a nice detail to put on your images this one is the trees okay gave it a little color correction because as you can see the tree it's a real real green and uh, as you can see the grass is not so green and so alive so i gave it a brightness contrast and uh u and saturation okay for this tree the same thing as you can see the greens are more related with the grass okay uh, let me see so here here is an interesting work too basically a, a cityscape image too but uh, of a garden with a lake okay I put it give it some brightness contrast always remember that the light of your stock images as to to <clears throat> to match the 3d okay don't forget that more cityscape behind the, the trees over there as you can see i give it a little fog here to match more uh, the ambient light as you can see it makes a little bit different this is really easy to do only uh, the only thing you have to do is to create a new layer put it in um, a brush with a white color uh, with some opacity and uh, paint uh, it's really easy to do okay here what we have here oh, okay this this lady here okay here is this guy on the computer inside the building okay more fog so i can match all the image as you can see you can do uh, more than one uh, layer of fog so you can uh, adjust everything about lightning on your image to to all match perfect okay it always has a resolution so don't worry if your image uh, image is um, a little bit too dark on some high areas or something because you can easily put uh, some fog or some lights uh, without compromising the quality of the image okay this one the layer 9 is this guy with umbrella here okay This one is the reflection, but as you can see, oh, as you can see, um, I have the reflection of the HDRI from the image. So I've made a mask. I've painted a mask here and gave it from this image. Uh, I've made a mirror. Uh, and after the mirror, um, I had to paint this line here 
which is the path of the, the garden and uh, gave it some uh, some gradient map on multiply it became I think really much better than the original okay as you can see as I told you before as you can see here I've painted to the the pad on concrete this layer sorry so okay In the effects, the effects is the most cool part of this whole process, okay. So let's see what I've made to this one. Boom! As you can see, it's so much different now with the effects, okay. Basically the effects are, are really, really uh, easy, so let me check. So I gave it more fog, as I told you before, a layer with a white brush, opacity, and let's go. Here, more fog on the plane zone, as you can see. This one, more fog from upside to down. The rain, the rain uh, was a simple map that I've uh, downloaded from Google Images, you have to put a rain PNG and you have these alpha maps with the rain effects, so basic to a gradient map, so I give it more contrast. Okay, uh, the vignette effect that I've made with a, a, a black brush and I've painted on the corners of the image uh, as I wanted to. This one is a 3D loot uh, uh, um, filter, uh, the Kodak 5218 Kodak 2395 by Adobe. So this is a preset from uh, Photoshop, so if you have the, the Photoshop CC 2015 or something, you have to you have these ones. So you have to search it right there, and they will be uh, here uh, above the invert. Okay, you uh, you will have this one for the 3D loot uh, files. Okay, and for the final, I gave it another this one this time the film stock 53.3dl um, if i put it in uh, without opacity it's really strong so i put it on 30 percent okay it gives the contrast that i need and i like so okay the effects really basic as you can see this one is a layer for, um, it's an eye pass basically, uh, to give it a more sharper result. If I turn on or turn down, you can see the image turns more sharp with more quality. Okay. This is so basic, uh, uh, you have to. You can do a, a you can flatten your image and go to filter others high frequency uh, in this case in English we will be a, an eye pass okay so really basic too the final flatten for the image with a little bit more fog. And that's it. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty much basic to to work on an image like this. Um, of course, there is a there is a matter of practicing. You have to practice a lot and see other tutorials. Uh, this one uh, was not uh, really a tutorial. Uh, it was more like a, a breakdown for me to explain you uh, how it works. Okay. So hope you have enjoyed. Um, Feel free to, to leave a comment and like the video and subscribe. Uh, if you need something else, feel free to send me a, a private message too. 
hope I can help you to improve your work on Photoshop. Uh, so bye bye. Thank you.